Let's get right into it. Number 20, start with a two minute morning stretch. Kick off your day with two minutes to wake up your brain. I'd always feel stiff and groggy in the morning like my brain wasn't ready to roll. Science says light stretching boosts blood flow to your brain, increasing alertness by 8%. Just do gentle neck rolls and side stretches. I feel my mind light up, like it's ready to tackle the day. It's like a warm up for your brain and body all in one. This habit's super chill because it's a simple way to get your mind firing. Now that you're awake, let's get your brain hydrated. Number 19, drink lemon water to kickstart hydration. You've stretched out your body, so grab a glass of lemon water to hydrate your brain. I'd always skip water in the morning, thinking coffee was enough, but I'd feel foggy. Studies show hydration can boost cognitive function by 10%, and the lemon adds a vitamin C kick for mental clarity. I feel sharper after sipping some lemon water, like my brain's got a fresh start. It's like a zesty wake-up call for your neurons. This habit is so easy because it prepares your brain while tasting awesome. With your brain hydrated, let's add some positivity to your morning. Number 18, say three positive affirmations. Your brain's hydrated from that lemon water, so now say three positive affirmations to start your day on a high note. I'd wake up stressing about my day, and my brain would feel heavy before starting. Research says positive affirmations can reduce stress hormones by 10%, boosting mood and focus. I say stuff like, I've got this, I'm focused, and today's gonna be great, and I feel lighter like my brain's ready to roll without the worry. It's like a mental pep talk that sets the vibe. This habit's chill because it gets your mind in a good place. Now, let's keep that good vibe going with a little movement. Number 17, take a 10 minute morning walk. With those affirmations lifting your mood, head out for a 10 minute morning walk to get your brain buzzing. I'd always jump straight into work, but I'd feel stuck like my brain wasn't firing. Studies show walking increases blood flow to your brain, boosting creativity by 15%. After a quick stroll, no headphones, just soaking in the air. I feel my ideas flowing like I can tackle any task. It's like a mini reset for your brain. This habit is so relaxed because it's an easy way to spark your thinking. Feeling creative? Let's get your brain some fuel to keep it going. Number 16, eat a handful of blueberries for antioxidants. You've got your creative juices flowing from that walk, so grab a handful of blueberries to fuel your brain with antioxidants. I'd always skip breakfast, but then I'd feel sluggish by mid-morning. Science says blueberries are packed with antioxidants that protect your brain cells, improving focus by 12%. After munching on some, I feel this steady clarity, like my brain's ready to tackle anything. They're like tiny shields for your neurons. This habit's super chill because it's a tasty way to power up your mind. Now that you're fueled alert, your brain with a simple trick. Number 15, chew gum to stay alert. Your brain's fueled with those blueberries, so pop a piece of gum in your mouth to stay alert. I'd always zone out during long work sessions, like my brain snoozed. According to some smart science folks, chewing gum increases blood flow to your brain, boosting alertness by 10%. When I chew gum while tackling a tedious task, I feel my focus snap back, like I'm suddenly wide awake and ready to roll. It's like a trick to keep your brain from napping on the job. This habit's chill because it's a tiny move that keeps your mind sharp. Let's boost your memory to ensure you don't forget anything today. Number 14, smell some rosemary to boost memory. You're alert from chewing gum, so take a whiff of rosemary oil to lock in those memories. I'd always forget little details, which is super annoying, right? Research says the scent of rosemary can improve memory retention by 15% by activating your brain's memory centers. I keep a little bottle of rosemary oil on my desk, and after a quick sniff, I can recall details way better, like remembering a friend's birthday without checking my phone. It's like a brain hack that smells awesome. This habit is so relaxed because it's a simple way to keep your memory on point. With your memory sharper, let's calm your brain down when stress hits. Number 13, do a quick color breathing trick. Your memory's boosted by that rosemary scent, so try this color breathing trick to chill your brain when it's a jumbled mess. I'd get so stressed out that my brain felt like a scrambled mess, you know? Studies show that imagining colors while breathing deeply can reduce anxiety by 8%, calming your mind and allowing you to focus better. Picture a cool blue as you inhale, then a warm red as you exhale. It takes two minutes, and I feel my thoughts chill out as I can concentrate again. It's like a mini vacation for your brain. This habit's super mellow because it's easy to clear your head. Now that you're calm, fuel your brain with a healthy snack. Number 12, munch on pumpkin seeds for brain fuel. 
After calming your mind with that breathing trick, grab a handful of pumpkin seeds to fuel your brain for the rest of the day. I'd always snack on junk food midday, which left me feeling sluggish like my brain was on low battery. Science says pumpkin seeds are packed with zinc and magnesium, which can improve cognitive function by 9%. After munching on some, I feel this steady clarity, like I can power through my tasks without fading. They're like tiny fuel pellets for your neurons. This habit is laid back because it's a tasty way to keep your mind firing. Fueled up? Let's get your brain buzzing with some creative vibes. Number 11. Try a 5-minute word association game. Your brain's fueled with pumpkin seeds, so play a quick word association game to get those creative juices flowing. I'd hit a creative wall and stare at my totally blank screen. Research shows this game, where you say a word and link it to another, like dog to bark, can boost mental flexibility by 7%. I do it with random words, and suddenly I'm coming up with ideas I never thought of, like a new way to plan my day. It's like a mental warm-up that gets your brain unstuck. This habit's chill because it's a fun way to spark creativity. Feeling creative? Let's jolt your brain awake with a little shock. Number 10. Take a cold shower for a brain jolt. Fresh from that word game and feeling creative, hop in for a quick cold shower to jolt your brain awake. I'd always drag through my mornings, feeling like a zombie no matter how much coffee I drank. Studies say cold exposure spikes norepinephrine, a brain chemical that boosts alertness by 12% with zero side effects. After a two-minute cold shower, I feel like lightning hit my brain. In a good way, like I'm ready to tackle anything. It's a bit uncomfortable, but the payoff is worth it. This habit's cool because it's a fast way to wake your mind up. Are you wide awake now? Let's give your brain a clear direction for the day. Number nine. Write a one-sentence goal for the day. You're wide awake after that cold shower, so scribble down a one-sentence goal to keep your brain on track. I'd start mornings without planning, bouncing around, and forgetting half my tasks. Research says setting a clear goal can increase focus by 15% by giving your brain direction. I write something like, finish that report by noon. I feel like my brain's got a map. I can get stuff done without wandering off. It's like a tiny compass for your mind. This habit's so easy going because it sets your brain up for a win. With your goal set, let's get your brain hydrated to keep it firing. Number eight, drink a glass of water first thing. You've got your daily goal written down. So down a glass of water right after waking up to get your brain going. I'd always go straight for coffee, but still feel foggy, like my brain wasn't entirely online. Science says even mild dehydration can tank your cognitive skills by 10%, slowing your thinking. After drinking water right after waking up, I feel sharper, like I can process my to-do list without spacing out. Your brain's 75% water, so it needs this to function. This habit's super chill because it's a basic move that gets your mind rolling. Now that you're hydrated, add positivity to keep your brain happy. Number seven, do a quick gratitude check-in. Your brain's hydrated and ready to go. So midday, pause for a minute to think of three things you're grateful for. I'd always focus on my stress, and my brain would feel stuck in a rut. Studies show gratitude can boost dopamine, lifting your mood and mental clarity by 10%. I think of a comfy bed or a sunny day, and I feel lighter, like I can tackle my work without that heavy vibe. It's like flipping a switch to make your brain happier. This habit is so relaxed because it's a quick way to reset your mindset. Feeling happier? Let's keep your brain moving with a little stretch break. Number six, move your body with light stretching. After that gratitude check-in lifts your mood, get up and do some light stretching for five minutes. I'd sit for hours and my brain would feel on standby mode, just not firing right. Research says light movement increases blood flow to your brain, improving clarity by 8%. After a few stretches like arm circles or side bends, I feel my thoughts clear as I can focus on my next task. It's like a gentle nudge to wake your brain up. This habit's easy going because it's a simple way to get your mind back in the game. With your body moving, let's calm your brain down next. Number five, sip a cup of chamomile tea to calm down. You've stretched out your body, so brew chamomile tea to calm your brain when anxiety hits. I'd always let my anxiety take over, and my brain would feel like a jumbled mess. Studies say chamomile's compounds can reduce stress hormones by 10%, helping your mind relax and think clearer. After sipping a warm cup, I feel my tension melt away, like I can focus without my thoughts racing. It's like a cozy hug for your brain. 
This habit's so chill because it helps your mind unwind without any effort. Now that you're relaxed, let's sharpen your memory with a fun game. Number four, play a quick memory game with friends. Your brain's calm from that chamomile tea, so challenge a friend to a quick memory game during a break. I'd always forget where I put my keys, which drove me up the wall. Research shows memory games, like naming objects you saw in a picture, can improve recall by 12%. I play a game where we list 10 items and try to remember them, and I feel my brain getting quicker, like I can keep track of stuff now. It's like a fun workout for your memory. This habit is fantastic because it's a social way to boost your brain. With your memory sharper, let's reset your focus for the next task. Number three, take 10 deep breaths to reset your focus. After that memory game, pause and take 10 deep breaths to reset your focus. I'd always get overwhelmed by my to-do list and my brain would freeze. Studies say deep breathing increases oxygen to your brain, boosting focus by 10%. I inhale through my nose, exhale through my mouth, and after 10 breaths, I feel my mind settle, like I can think straight again. It's like a quick reboot for your brain. This habit's so mellow because it's an easy fix for a cluttered mind. Now that you're focused, let's protect your brain's rest tonight. Number two, limit your phone use before bed. After those deep breaths, you're focused. So put your phone down an hour before bed to help your brain wind down. I'd always scroll until I fell asleep, but wake up feeling like I hadn't rested at all. Research says blue light from screens cuts melatonin by 20%, messing with your sleep and memory. When I ditch my phone early, I sleep much deeper like I can remember my morning tasks without struggling. It's like giving your brain a real chance to recharge. This habit is a must because good sleep keeps your mind sharp. With better sleep on the way, let's clear your mind before bed. Number one, end with a quick brain dump. You've set yourself up for great sleep, so grab a notebook and dump all your thoughts to clear your mind before bed. I'd always go to sleep with a million things swirling in my head and wake up stressed. Studies say writing down your thoughts reduces mental clutter by 10%, helping you sleep better. I scribble everything, worries, ideas, to-dos, and feel my brain relax like I've offloaded all the noise. It's like a mental declutter that prepares you for a fresh start. This habit is a lifesaver because it lets your brain rest easily.